Hi guys, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and today my friends, it is turkey season. We are going to make the most juiciest, the most flavorful turkey you ever had and most importantly, it is simple to make and it is quick cooking. I'm going to tell you why. Now I want to share with you some tips and tricks that worked for me and I know it's going to work for you as well. So right before we get into seasoning the turkey, let's chat a little bit, shall we? So tip number one, when you buy your turkey, whether it is from the frozen uh, section of your supermarket or if you buy it fresh in the butcher shop, what you need to do is if it's frozen, it needs at least a good um, three days to thaw out. So keep it in your refrigerator for at least uh, 24 hours, between 24 and 48 hours to make sure it's fully thawed out. And when that time comes, you're going to need at least one or two days to marinate in the refrigerator. I wouldn't suggest to season up the same day and cook it the same day. You can but the flavors doesn't have a chance to really intensify. So at least allow it to be fully seasoned, marinated in your refrigerator for at least one whole day. But if you can push for two, even better. It's gonna come out delicious, it's gonna come out flavorful, it's gonna be marvelous. So that is tip number one, to make sure you give your time, yourself time to thaw out your turkey and making sure that you have marinated overnight or preferably two days if you have the time. So that is tip number one. Tip number two, we are gonna be using a turkey bag and I'm gonna show you what it is. A turkey bag is simply a bag that is designed to cook a turkey in it. You can cook a, a pernil in there. It's for food, it's not a grocery bag it's not any other kind of bag but a turkey bag and it's gonna say it on the, the cover I'm gonna show you what I use and it doesn't really matter the brand because you can find it anywhere I buy mine in a discount store because it's cheaper so they usually have what is it like two for a dollar or something like that so I buy it when it's on sale but a turkey bag will not only save you time in basting, I refuse to be a turkey slave. That's why I call it a turkey slave because if you don't use a turkey bag, you're gonna have to baste your turkey every half an hour and then your turkey is gonna take around seven or eight hours to cook, maybe even six depending on the size. I mean, that is too much trouble. And plus, you probably will need a, a, a meat thermometer just to make sure that everything is well cooked. We're not going through that trouble. I kid you not. I would refrain from using that. Um, turkey bags are the way to go. It keeps it, it cooks in like its own sauna. You know, it's it stays moist in there. It stays with with a lot of heat moving around in the turkey, and it cooks up quicker. So why not? And I'm going to show you that as well. Uh, tip that was tip number two tip number three is how to season your turkey it's a pretty big hunk of meat and it really needs a lot of seasoning because if you don't season it it's gonna taste bland now it's really up to you and how you want to season your turkey I'm gonna give you some uh, tips and suggestions what I use and I do have about three other videos of how to make a Thanksgiving turkey and you can uh, look at each one and see which one works for you. The ingredients that I have today is pretty simple. It's, um, it's not a lot but I love a turkey and any kind of meat that is well seasoned and put together. So you're gonna see it. it's just gonna be just and just that is fine. tip number three now tip number four my suggestion is get two small turkeys why not you're gonna have 
double the quantity. If there's people who love the drums, you're going to have four drums. If there's people that only love the breasts or mostly the breasts, you can have plenty of breasts, uh, a turkey breasts to cut from. So it's really better to do the small turkeys rather than the large ones. And th that is my suggestion. And that's actually what I do when I know I'm going to have a big gathering. I cook up two 16 pounders. Simple and sweet. Between, I would say, between 12 and 16 pounds, I preferably do when I know I'm going to have a large amount of guests. But not me because what I usually do is when I make a turkey, I make a ham, and I make so many other sides, I, I don't even bother with a big turkey anymore because I'm, I'm still going to have leftover and it's still going to feed a crowd because you're going to have so much other sides. You know, like if there's only like three sides, okay, I would say make a second turkey. But if you're going to have ham and, uh, and any other kind of protein, don't even stress yourself. One turkey should do the job. And that's pretty much it, my friends. Four tips on how to make an amazing, flavorful turkey foolproof in my opinion and this method actually worked for me so well I never turned back from it I am I'm, I'm always using the turkey bag pretty much for everything I cook my pernil in there you can cook a ham in there I mean it's delicious it's, it's it just saves so much time and it cooks up quickly so that's what I like about it you don't have to babysit your turkey you can have it done in no time and now without further ado i'm going to discuss the ingredients that we are going to uh, prepare our turkey with and now let's begin here are my ingredients i have one stick of butter which this is a half a cup and this is salted butter now it's okay because we need to put salt in the turkey it really has no flavor and we have to make sure that with the 16 pound turkey, we can definitely make sure that every area has flavor, right? And then right here I have garlic powder. And right here I have coriander, ground coriander. Right here I have dry parsley. Right here I have poultry seasoning. I have adobo now adobo has a lot of salt and that is going to be my salt intake that i'm going to put here so i'm not going to put table salt i feel that adobo has a lot of flavors already in it but if you have your favorite seasoning salt you can use or just use adobo and i have one packet of sasson and i have other ingredients that I'm going to be bringing in and I'm going to show you what they are. So let me show you what else I have for our turkey. All right, my friends, and right here is Mr. Turkey. He is 16 pounds. I'm going to be using aluminum foil trays. It's so easy and convenient to cook in this, especially when you're going to be using a turkey bag, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So this is the turkey I'm going to be using. I have thawed this out already. I had cleaned him and now he is ready almost to get seasoned up. But I'm going to show you what other ingredients I have before we get that started. All right, my friends. So right here I have some vegetables that I'm going to be stuffing our turkey with and putting it inside the bag as well. I don't believe in doing stuffing because that tends to dry up your turkey. So we're gonna avoid that. So that's just my opinion. And right here I have like four stalks of celery that I had just roughly chopped. I have um, some carrots that are large and some are skinny roughly chopped. I have like three large ones that are roughly chopped. And then I'm going to put some onions. I have some yellow onions, red onions, whatever, which one you want to use. I have two medium bulbs here and I just roughly chopped. I'm going to stuff some 
and put some on the side of the bag as well. I have about 10 cloves of garlic, so we're going to do that. That's going to be in the turkey and as and outside. And I have some herbs. I'm trying to get to right here. And right here I have some fresh sage, some fresh rosemary, and some fresh thyme. And this is what we're going to be using as well. So now let's begin. Alright guys, now let's begin. We are going to put in first our butter. Now make sure it is softened at room temperature. Because we're going to use this to moisten and flavor our turkey up. This is very important. You know, turkey can be very dry and we're going to put some underneath the skin and I'm going to show you how that's done, okay? So just to make sure that your butter is nice and soft and this is how it's going to be. Right now, we're going to put in all our dry spices. It might look like a lot, but I'm telling you right now, this was the powdered or rather granulated garlic. It might look like a lot, but remember, this is a 16-pound bird. We have to season inside and out. And you need to make sure that you have all your spices. Now, right now, I just finished putting the poultry seasoning, the coriander, a ground coriander, I'm sorry, the adobo. All right, we've got the adobo. we got the parsley. And... The sauce, so this is going to give it flavor and color. And then we're just going to mix everything through. It's going to be thick like a paste. And that is okay. We're just going to mix all this through. All right then, there were two other ingredients that I forgot to mention before, which is black pepper that I freshly ground up myself. I use a teaspoon of that. And I have also three leaves of sage that I also ground up as well. I used it in the same grinder. That's why it's dark like that. Because I had ground up my black pepper first. And then I took my black pepper out and ground that up. So that's why it's all dark like that. But I'm using the... Oh, making a mess. Um, I'm using those two ingredients. So we're going to combine this really good and make it nice. It's going to be firm, but that's okay because it holds on to the turkey better. All right. Now let's season up our turkey. All right, guys. So right after you finish mixing your uh, turkey seasoned butter, I want to show you this oven bag that I'm going to be using. The brand doesn't matter because you can find it in anywhere, your supermarket, your local discount stores. But this is what you're looking for, oven bags. It burns usually two and they're safe for cooking. Okay? I just want to show you that. And I'm going to show you that it comes huge. This, this is a turkey size bag. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fit our bad boy in here. But I just want to give you a little view of it, okay? Alright guys, so now it's time to put our turkey inside this bag. So what I'm going to be doing is opening up this bad boy right now while it's clean and not seasoned yet. I prefer to do this at this point because when it's seasoned, it's just going to get... Um, slippery and it's going to be a hot mess to deal with. So try to make some room and we're going to put Papa Chulo over here. Ooh, he's heavy. Oh boy, 16 pounds is a lot. Right in here. And we're going to put him back inside here. 
And that's where he's gonna chill out at. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna make sure that he is well snug in here, as you can see. All right, that's, that was the worst part. What we're gonna do is, this just makes it easy to pour our turkey, to put our turkey in here. You don't have to do it this way, but I just find it the other way is gonna be hard because he's gonna be um, seasoned. It's just gonna be a mess. So right now, with our turkey butter uh, seasoning, we're gonna use our clean hands and start seasoning it through. Now, I like to start by actually lifting up the skin. You know, one of the mistakes I notice people do with their turkey is, actually, let me put that down for a minute. Um, they like to punch holes in the turkey like they do to a roast pork, and that, my friends, is a no-no. Make sure that when you do your turkey, you remove your jewelry. I just took off my ring right now. So, you just want to lift up the skin separating the skin from the flesh but not tearing a hole on it because what we're going to do is we're going to put some of that seasoned butter in here and it's going to penetrate it's going to season up this bird this bird is going to have a lot of flavor so there's no need to poke holes right in it okay and we're going to do the same one one side, we're going to do the same on the other side. See how my hands are not breaking, but it's just moving. You just want to lift up the skin from the flesh, and it gives you a better pocket to work with. So you can put the uh, seasoning through. So I'm just going to take a little at a time, I don't know, maybe a, a tablespoon or so, and work in there. It's going to give it a lot of flavor and a whole lot of moisture. We're going to have a nice, moist, flavorful turkey like you wouldn't believe. And what, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. And just keep on massaging it through until you feel like every area has gotten this delicious seasoned butter and we're going to put it all over it's going to look like a mess because it's going to be all over the back but don't you worry everything's going to be a okay and that's it my friends we're just going to apply this butter mixture all over Inside the cavity, underneath the skin, right here where the, the thighs are at. Do you need to widen up? It's widened? So it's not close, it's like... Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in his whole entire body inside the cavity don't forget inside the cavity most importantly because whatever the bird this uh, turkey sweats out is going to be one flavorful gravy that i'm going to show you how to make with it it's going to be really good a really nice informative video for you just to help my friends out there so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. I love making new friends. I love teaching. I love cooking. You're going to have so much fun watching and learning. and It's going to be amazing and a blessing. And I'm planning to waste out all this butter in this turkey. So don't. We have any leftover of the seasoning don't you worry keep on using it baste it or rub it down everywhere including the back I'm gonna do the back too I'm not gonna 
spent so much time seasoning the back because it's laying on his back. It's gonna have all that, um, what you call it, uh, seasonings right on it. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Turkey will cook perfectly in this bag. You don't have to remove it. Only, um, only when it's completely done. And I will show you how that is. This is a, pretty much of a messy job, but somebody got to do it. So, I'm just going to be massaging this everywhere, all over. I'm telling you. Everywhere needs it. And if you feel like you touched everywhere already, keep on putting until you completely finish because it's going to be good. It's going to be amazing. You're just making sure that your turkey has lots and lots of flavors to it. I'd rather have a seasoned turkey than an under-seasoned turkey. So you can put some as well by the next side. And the giblets and giblets that this comes with, I'm going to season that as well and just put it on the side. I'm probably going to put it inside the turkey because I like to eat those and I don't want those to get lost. So I'm going to put it inside the turkey so I can get them later. You know, inside the turkey, there's a skin area that also you can put some of the seasoning right inside where the thighs are at. See where the, the thigh is at and the skin? Just put it right in there too. So everything, I'm telling you, everything is going to come out so flavorful and it's okay get your hands dirty as long as you clean them before doing this and use up all of your turkey butter right now i'm gonna stuff it with the vegetables i just put a celery and um an onion I'm going to put a carrot in there. I'm going to put some rosemary and thyme in here too. It's just going to help flavor out our turkey. And as well as the gravy that we're going to make from it. Also, I'm putting some uh, garlic. And I'm just going to stuff some inside as you see. And whatever is in the inside is going to drape in right to the bag. So, I'm also going to put some in the bag and put it in the bottom, in the back of the turkey. Allow the turkey to sit in these, uh, with these vegetables underneath. So, put it underneath. Final area, like you see here, you see how I found the area, lift up a leg, and you see how that is? I'm just gonna put some in there. And we want our turkey to be underneath this. I'm telling you y'all, this is gonna give not only our turkey flavor, but also, like I said, um, our turkey gravy as well. Perfect. Perfect gravy. That's why you can't stuff a turkey when it's in a turkey bag with stuffing in it. It's not going to work out. You're going to have a soupy mess. So don't do that to yourself. All right. 
right after you put everything in here, you see how all the vegetables are in the bottom. It's perfect. All right. We're going to tie this bad boy up. So this comes with like a plastic tie. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that on here and put it through like so. I mean, you can tie a knot on it yourself. I normally do that, but decided to use this tie thinking it's giving me a hard time. Okay. So, oh. Okay, come on. So we're going to put this on. And we're going to make it tight. As tight as we can. Okay, so as tight as we can after you twist the knot and then one small hole poke in the top just one so with a sharp knife be careful okay with a sharp knife be careful one small the hole. hole is just to prevent it being overly full with steam you want to let some steam out which is perfectly fine so now i'm going to put this bad boy in the refrigerator and i'm going to marinate it overnight or two days like i mentioned to you and hi friends so let me give you some quick updates on what i did so far my turkey have been marinating for two days in the refrigerator and then i had Preheat my oven to 350. Once my oven was heated for 20 minutes, I had already taken out my turkey out of the refrigerator, allow it to sit for 20 minutes just at the same time as my oven is preheating. Then I placed my turkey right inside and it had baked for three hours. Once that time has come I had taken my turkey out of the oven and allow it to sit on top of my table for a good 20 to 30 minutes I want the flavors I want the heat and everything just to mellow down and redistribute you never want to open up the turkey bag before it's time so now we are just going to unveil this turkey I'm going to open my bag up and then I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna do. Next. All right, my friends. So now it's time to unveil this beauty. Now, when you take your turkey out the oven, it's gonna look just like this. Don't get alarmed. It's not burned. That's just the seasonings that got stuck onto the bag. That is perfectly fine and normal. And with your clean hands, of course, we are going to open up this turkey bag. Remember to put some slits in there in the beginning before you put it in the oven. And there you have it, my friends. Oh, wow. Look how scrumptious it smells and looks. So, you can serve up your turkey just like this in this uh, aluminum pan. That would be amazing and easy for a cleanup. Or you can um, take apart your turkey and allow your family just to grab the pieces that you had cut up which that's how i'm gonna do today so i have done it two ways i had chopped up my turkey i had shredded my turkey at one point and or i had left it whole just like this so you have options so now let's begin shredding up or cutting up our turkey all right guys so now let's begin carving this bad boy up now mind you it is a beautiful color golden brown delish and look it, it's just fully cooked through you don't even need a meat thermometer i mean if it wasn't cooked through you want to be able to grab the thigh just like that without cutting it i didn't even use a knife so now i'm going to place this in my another aluminum pan just like this and it just makes um eating picking on the turkey much more simple listen 
it shouldn't be all about any fuss when it comes to Thanksgiving. It should just be spending quality time with your family. Because if you're here to impress, you're going to stress yourself out. So just try your best and make it easy for yourself. Easy cleanup, easy cooking. Why not? So right now I'm just working on this thigh area. And if you see a bone, just remove it. You don't need to put that in the pan. And that's about it. So I'm just going to continue it on. So easy. Oh, it smells so, so good. The vegetables are fully cooked through. Perfect. Put them right in the platter too. They are infused with all this turkey goodness. Why not? I mean, look how soft and easy this is. The turkey literally falls off the bone. I had yet to use my knife to separate anything. I kid you not, the turkey bag, it is one of my favorite methods. So easy to use. Alright, so I'm going to turn this around to um, get the other side. The other um, leg and a wing just makes it easier to handle. Let me get these bones out the way and discard these bones. And don't discard the vegetables, like I said, they are delicious just to eat. Put it in your plate. I mean, they're full of flavor, they're so soft and tender. And you can just imagine how that gravy is gonna taste. When Let's take this wing out. I can <clears throat> get a hold of it. Got some vegetables here. Smells incredible. Wow, look at that. Okay. My wings are falling apart. That's how tender this is. Oh, amazing. No dry turkey up in here, guys. And then, just carving it down. Look at that. Beautifully cooked through. Drag it in that gravy a little bit. How scrumptious that is. Come on, guys. Ain't nothing dry up in here. Discarding the bone. Look at that breastbone comes out like nothing. I mean, look at this. I barely had to do anything. I barely had to use my knife. is amazing truly truly is
unbelievable delicious and then I'm gonna do this side and look we're pretty much done look, look how easy this turkey is just falling off the bone wow so easy so so easy delicious absolutely delicious i'm going to continue it on because you get the idea all right guys so here is my shredded turkey super easy super moist and delicious you can either mix the dark and the white meat together or or put the white meat in the side right now i have the white meat in the center i have dark meat along the side i have my leg and my wing and my vegetables right here you can fix it up however you like this is super easy super delicious it came out so soft and tender you've seen how i cut my turkey i barely had to use the knife it's so moist and so flavorful and this makes a perfect thanksgiving where anybody can take from what they want if they want a leg they want dark meat white meat everything is right there you don't have to carve you don't have to worry about it being dry and being too hard to cut this makes a perfect this makes a perfect family style buffet style just grab as you go type of dish and i can't wait for you to give it a try so now let's do a taste test all right my friends now that you know how i make my turkey always using a turkey bag never fails you can have your turkey whole or simply cut it up so it can be served as a buffet style, family style, which it is way much easier to handle. And mind you, I know Thanksgiving is like a very stressful day. You got a lot of cooking, a lot of cleaning going on. So try to make yourself something that is so much more simple, delicious, easy, flavorful. And the results are amazing. So now let me give myself a little taste test. I've been already snacking on it already because it's so good. It smells incredible. I don't know about one the dark meat or the white meat, but I'm gonna take something. So let me pick and choose. Pick and choose. Okay, I got me some dark meat. I'm using my hands. Come on, guys. Mm, mm. Flavors are so on point. Delicious. I'm going in for a second. I want a little skin. And you got a little crispy skin here, too. So don't worry about crisping up your skin. It's not a roast pork. If you crisp up your skin too much, you're going to risk drying out your turkey. That should be tip number five. When your turkey is done, don't open up the turkey bag and think that, oh, let me crisp up my turkey. You're going to risk having a dry turkey. You do it at your own risk if you want to do that, but it's not necessary. You're going to have some crispy skin. Not much, but you, it, you don't want to risk having a dry turkey. Who loves a dry turkey? The skin will serve its purpose. And moistening inside of the majority of times the breast is what is a, a pretty dry meat but you don't you don't want to risk that so I'm gonna get a piece of skin right now mm. Mm, mm, mm. so on point mm. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, your Thanksgiving is going to be the bomb.com. Give this recipe Super a try. Super easy. Delightful. 
delicious, moist, easy, and it cooks in half of the time. In the description box below, I'm going to leave you all the measurements to the ingredients and some directions and some tips. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. You can also reach me in Instagram, Facebook, leave me your comments Twitter, below. of anything that you need help with. And I will try my best to walk you through it. But this is pretty easy. You're going to love it. Super simple. Great for beginners. Great for anybody that wants to have a delicious moist turkey. You need to give this a try. I see you later. God bless. And have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I pray that everything goes well. That so much love and joy and the peace that will surpass all understanding will be with you that day. Take care. Bye-bye.